But in terms of things that really enhance performance, we can talk about the, what I, there are two ways to think about biology. One are modulators and the others are mediators. So there are some things that you can do that will strongly modulate your ability to do lots of other things. Let's just give an example. If I sleep deprive Echo for two days, his ability to focus is going to be diminished relative to what it would be if he had slept well for, for, for two nights. Why? Well, sleep and its various outputs modulate attention, but it doesn't mediate attention. You can't really use sleep in, in real time to enhance attention. Okay, A fire alarm will modulate my attention, but it doesn't mediate it. So we can talk about modulators and mediators. And the, the important thing to understand is that there are certain foundational behaviors, do's and don'ts, that set the stage for you to be better at everything. So a lot of times people will say, how can I lift more, focus better, um, remember things better? It's like, well, let's think about the foundation of that. And that's always going to come back to two elements, and that's sleep and what I call non-sleep deep rest. So sleep is the fundamental practice or part of our 24-hour cycle where if you don't get it on a consistent basis, you are down-regulating your ability to do everything, right? Metabolism is screwed up, immune system is screwed up, et cetera, et cetera. However, it is not the case if you get a one night's bad sleep or that if you're not sleeping perfectly that you can't perform well. But let's talk about sleep and just, uh, cause I think it's important. The goal for most people, unless you're pulling vampire shifts on, on deployment or you're a shift worker and thank you shift workers, we'll talk about shift work. You should try and get really good sleep 80% of the time. 80% of the nights of your life. The other 20%, I hope you're not getting good sleep for good reasons that you enjoy. But the point is that there are a couple things that you can do. First of all, every cell in your body has a circadian rhythm, meaning every cell has a 24-hour circadian clock that's regulated by genes. Think of these, your body has a bunch of millions of clocks and you need to align those clocks to a single time. This is why when you travel overseas, your gut goes off or it's more easy, you more easily you get sick or uh, your thinking isn't quite right. The, the clocks aren't in alignment. They're not entrained, as we say. 